Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, today we're gonna revisit Instagram hashtagging and how my strategy has evolved over the months a little bit. If you're unfamiliar with who I am, my name is Leon. Uh, I make videos on YouTube uh, and I talk about social media and some of the different strategies, uh, strategies I use to increase my reach uh, and just you know entrepreneurship in general and how to be a better creator in this modern era as the digital age continues to evolve. Now before I get into the, the bread and butter of the video, I want to start by just saying there are two schools of thought surrounding Instagram hashtagging. The first is that uh, it's useless and if you hashtag you're only going to get likes or follows by people using bots or automation. Uh, and the second is that you know what, there may be something to be gained. There's probably still some people trolling around in the explore section of Instagram and if you hashtag correctly, they may just stumble across your content. Uh, and if you have good content that they like, you might just get an organic follower that you would not have gotten if you didn't use that hashtag. So with that being said, uh, let's get my phone out. So before I move on, if uh, you're interested in some of the, the hashtagging strategies I was using, in the months previous, I do a video series called Gram by Gram in which I'm documenting my Instagram growth and efforts to create community on that uh, social media platform. So I'm gonna link to episode three up here, which is where I initially, months ago, touched on those strategies that some of which I still use today. But moving forward, the main way I research hashtags now is I'll go right into Instagram. Make sure that's working, it's working. Uh, and you just go to the Explore tab and depending on what your niche is, um, I'm just going to use quotes as a tag in this example because I use a lot of quotes. Go to the tags key and you can see a bunch will come up and this is really the easiest way to do it. You can just look at how many posts there are and go from there. Now, quotes itself has 27.3 million posts and this brings me into the argument that I have in this case and that is that it's not all about using the most popular posts. When you first start on Instagram, I know when I did, uh, you know, you look on what hashtags to use and there's all this information about use these hashtags because they're the most popular, fun, IG daily, quotes, blah, 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 depending on your niche. It's not about using the most popular hashtags, especially as a new creator. If you post something, it's gonna get lost in the sauce very fast unless you have thousands of likes and are lucky enough to get it into the top posts. For instance, 4,700 likes. I'm just clicking through some of the top posts on this hashtag. 4,100, 1,200, etc. So, two ways I like to navigate are by going to popular hashtags and then going to the related section up above and clicking through some of those. I'm going to go into sayings. This one has 1 million, so that's still a lot, but it's a lot less than 17 million. And then I like to click through some of the top posts and get an idea of how many likes some of the top posts are getting. Now this is still a lot. But the point of the story is, the moral of the story is, you can easily go into Instagram, research these tags, go to something a little less crazy, like quotes for days. Here we go. 356 likes. Epic win. Made it onto the top posts. Again, I'm just clicking through the top posts. 116 likes. Now clearly this section it's not going to get as much traction, but it's all about finding these little, you know, these lesser popular hashtags that you might be able to pop into the top post section. And you may get that one or two, you know, three people that stop by and see your content, like it enough to follow you back. And that's the whole point. This isn't going to, you know, blow your page up or, or, or get a, or get a, you know, photo going crazy, but it's a combination of niche Hashtags like this one that have, you know, maybe a total of 45,000 posts and then maybe add in a couple of ones like this quotes of Instagram. Sorry, I just clicked on quotes of Instagram. 201,000. Instagram allows you up to 30 hashtags per post. So if you're doing all 30, you want to have a good blend of some less popular hashtags, which I've showed you how to find through Instagram itself. And maybe use some that are, you know, maybe use some that are a little more popular, because maybe if you're lucky, you'll just get onto the top post for some reason. If you have a a nice post that people like and comment on, and it gets a few likes, nobody knows the actual algorithm. But obviously, the more interaction your post gets, the more likely you are to get into the top posts, and the more popular the top posts are, 
the harder it is to get up there. So depending on the size of your page, in my case right now, I'm getting anywhere between 150 to 300 likes on photos, a couple of comments. Uh, so I'm able to, to get into the top posts of a couple of hashtags that are, you know, medium popularity. But mess around with it. Find some hashtags that are related to your niche uh, search related hashtags that are less popular and come up with like a nice combination of hashtags that you can use for your posts. Now, as you can tell, I do that and as I'm researching, I come up with different sets of 30 hashtags. For instance, I have one that I use when I upload uh, little snippet videos on Instagram that are kind of linking back to tutorials on YouTube. I have one for positive vibe. I have a set based around gratitude, peace. I have a, a set based around quotes, another set based around quotes, a set based around success and passion. And I'll use, kind of cycle through all these different sets to see what works better. Some work better than others. Sometimes it's often random. Again, there's no guarantee in what works for me, may not work for you. Uh, I just want to share what I'm doing. I love authenticity and being totally open and I'm trying to uh, help you guys as much as I can as I try to grow my own page. So if you have any questions below, please, please feel free to ask me. Leave a, a comment in the comment section. If you like this video, if this was at all helpful to you, please like and subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. If you didn't, uh, like this video, just feel free to give me a big fat thumbs down and put on a pair of cement shoes and jump into a lake somewhere. I'm just kidding. I love you anyways. Uh, stay tuned. New videos every week. Uh, I appreciate you guys. I'm signing off. This is Leon. Take care. One, two, three. Yeah.